Rosie, get ready. Put your life jacket on. Uh, yeah. We're gonna deploy this <coughs> scientific drifter buoy, this scientific instrument, and this helps uh, climate science as well as weather forecasting. Where we are right now, in the middle of the Indian Ocean, 45 degrees south, there are absolutely no ships here. Therefore, no one measures air pressure. And air pressure cannot be measured from satellites. So we rely on these buoys to be dropped at certain places here to actually have accurate weather forecast. They also measure the water temperature and by giving their position through the satellite, um, they also show the ocean current. And um, yeah, this is another little contribution of Team Alicia to climate science and um, we hope we have a good job now. Drawing a little bit, at 27 knots. <clears throat> and dear school kids, you can follow the position live in the internet as well and learn something about the ocean. And maybe you can do better drawings than I can. So who actually tells us that we can show this plastic in the ocean here, this uh, observing buoy, this drifter buoy? Uh, this is um, an international organization uh, called Ocean Ops. Um, it belongs to the UN at the end. And Martin Kramp is the coordinator for this deployment. And he assures us that the benefit for science by far outweigh this small piece of plastic in the ocean. And with a little bit of luck, it can be retrieved as well. So it's the first time that really systematically the race uh, deploys 10 of these drifter buoys around Antarctica in this zone of the ocean where there are no vessels and no weather data um, without these buoys. One, two, three, four, five, six, how much, how much uh, buoys do you think there are in the ocean? 1,500. So we did 1,501. Yes. Ooh. 